Just previously, I talked about how localizer and game company are being exposed for trying to put censorship on game character design, pushing their ideology as well as agenda, because apparently they hate gamers having nice stuff. Well, what I can definitely say is that apparently Japanese gamers have made their obvious choice in recent Tokyo Game Show 2024. And I can assure you, that answer may amaze you. Hello there, how's today? I'm Mika Keta Desu. So obviously today, random chat, we are going to talk about the choice that the Japanese average gamer have put into... Do they agree with the DI or will they actually go for against it? Because if reason year I, or reason time basically i know that a lot of people will be saying that japanese have been kind of like very weird on the game design or even how they're having di people or having consultant with the di along the line well the thing is right japanese gamers have been always wondering what is wrong with a lot of things and it seems like in recent time they are now ironically woke up to this incident so obviously when you go to Tokyo Game Show last that happened last week 2000, in 2024 September end of 27 28 29 it's ironically that they actually got like dust born happening in that sh place with a lot of other games like basically surrounded with games that with character that look good so obviously ob we have to talk about dust one for now i know some of you might be saying ah we're gonna talk about that again i thought that game died long ago well it's still working it's still in service apparently not like concourse where sony decided to just bomb for 100 million dollars apparently for no apparent reason at this point of time but obviously it does showcase that dust one was having thick skin enough to actually appear at there but even more funnier is that Red Sun did a tweet and not a video on it so I had no idea what happened but from what I do know is that apparently no one actually appeared at that booth no one even gave it a chance it's not about whether they say oh it's a black people or whatever it's like Japanese people say that hey they don't like the gameplay it's very it spread very faster than you might all think so what does that mean well Japanese Twitter apparently actually spread like wildfire than the Western side when something is wrong. More so that when Japanese people do talk about this type of thing, they will go and once they don't have a good experience on the gameplay or they don't have good thing about the gameplay, they will actually talk about it in, in Japanese in the Twitter side or in for, similar to foreign or anything to talk about how their bad experience on the game and they will just say it's bad or whatever along the line so with that being said obviously majority of people who read those sites would understand that this is not a place that you want to visit so when you look at that there is a loner guy which so happened to be the creator of dust one standing alone there with no one bothering to go near at all but all the surrounding games are actually games that the DEI or people who doesn't like the good looking characters and more so that I can definitely say that all those other so-called kacha game or character with good looking men or pretty lady they got way more attention than dust bond dust bond is just basically being ironically live in the dust at this point of time and no one is even bothered with it so at this point of time, I'm talking about one game that actually took the place by storm where a lot of people tend to be talking about it, apparently. So I'm talking about all, one of my all-time favorite games, Nikkei. And when I say Nikkei, it's definitely one of the games that is well-liked by the Japanese, both male and female, even if the character are all female along the line. Because the thing is, right, when they have a lot of female character, there is one thing that a lot of people tend to forget is that it's not about trying to give to uh, like the target audience is, ten is towards horny old men or ho 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 uh, horny old guys along the line. It apparently is also catered to, you guess it, female. So it's even more funnier that there are way more female fans than you might think because the thing is right, when they actually like those many 
fan that I'm talking about, when they can cosplay themselves to look like the character, where the character, the all the female character is so diverse, so spread out that. And I can assure you guys that it's a few black character in like few black female character in the game. So it's so much onto the DI itself that there is enough black people in the game that is in is all equally equal to all in a way. And it's so diverse that anyone can cosplay as anyone they want. So when I say cosplay, obviously when I say when you look at the Nikkei TGS, which means Tokyo Game Show, there are actually a lot of cosplayer and I don't kid you, most of them are actually gamers themselves. They are not just because oh they can um, cosplay as the character or whatever, it's that they play the game on top of cosplaying. Who will know? So obviously a lot of people will say that there's no way that it's pretty people who can cosplay whatsoever along the line. But if you go to internet and just search it up, there's way more stuff out there that, than you guys might think to the point that you just look at the image, it's insane. A lot of people cosplaying at this point of time. So I don't see why having good looking character in the game make the game a problematic game because like i mentioned if a character is black enough they can just get someone black to cosplay in it doesn't even matter so obviously when you look at the whole audio obviously people are are going to be mad but when it came to nikkei it's even more ironic is that nikkei is again created by south korea company which is the same company that create stella blade and yet DK was so successful, that is the reason why Stellar Blade was able to push through because the funding and the success of Nikkei was enough to give the company the resources to create the game that everyone likes now, which is Stellar Blade. So in a way, we all have to be thankful for Stella, um, for, up, for coming out with Nikkei in the first place. And even more ironically is that they, like all the cosplayers, if you think that they are just models who so-called being paid to dress up i'm sure those people will come up with many different excuses trying to discredit this kind of thing but i can assure you when you search up those specific cosplayer you go and search them out most of them play the game most of them actually like the game and even more so they even make it a point that they must cosplay the character they like <laughs> but it's ironical because they say that the game was supposed to be meant for horny guys when now you're gonna say that those girls are actually horny as well well, I guess that that will also mean that a lot of guys will be going after those girls in a <laughs> different meaning. So the thing is, right, at the end of the day, Dust Bond and many other games so understand one thing. It's not about trying to redesign a game. It's not about trying to push your agenda. It's not about hating gamers having nice stuff anymore. It's you guys, game company, don't understand the simple reason is that I use this a lot of time people want good looking things if you guys don't i mean like can you fight with me saying that you go to a fast food restaurant or a sit down restaurant or any restaurant the first thing when you see at the menu it just basically if you have an image of the food will you look at the food and say that hey this look good i'm gonna order that if you are that person then would the lady slap yourself in the face because you can't argue with me saying that you don't like good looking food because at the end of the day people always look and eat with their eyes more than with their mouth and study does show that go and search it up using google so the thing is right it's even more funnier that people always think that characters should not look nice or whatsoever just because they say that female are being objectified which or maybe is whatsoever along the line dude Look it out. It's the Western people who push the agenda first and now they backtrack and now they're trying to say it's the and instead of gimmick like bringing on Hollywood, bringing on uh the mindset of people, they trying to now backpedal and bring it on games instead. Animate manga apparently that in real life like pawn can have their way with it, but apparently game anime all this can't go with it. I don't see the logic and it just shows to prove that 
those people are just extremist people who are so idiotic, so stupid that they can go and think that they can go after anyone without getting karma. And it seems like karma has finally happened and more and more people are now aware of what is happening and now they are all mad. And even more so is that when this kind of video do come out and having more people talking about it, I'm sure that they will even start going around pressing the dislike button as much as they can trying to discredit this video or even trying to take down this video claiming as false information. But at this point of time, it's obviously that there's no way the damage can be undone. It's so damn obvious the fans are so is so much into it, this kind of thing. Japanese gamers had already made their choice. If in this image they don't even tell you what happened, I had no idea what. Because at the end of the day, average Japanese gamers always go after the good looking things. Whether you all like it or not. And even more so that a lot of people need to understand that for a lot of the Japanese people that I interact with, with a lot of Japanese people that I have made friends with, it's always, ironically, a good game with a good gameplay with a good character design that won them over. So if Western game company want to step into the, com uh, the Western or the Eastern, maybe consider, re-look really into your management, maybe consider redesign a game with this sort of thing where are you sure you want to include ugly character as the main base or how about a balance between good looking character with bad looking character at least there is some eye candy and there is some moment where every a, a character with relatable backstory that everyone can come and agree with that will also mean that at least they are stepping into the uncharted actual market that they should be tapping into and not pushing their stupid ideology or agenda when it's going to be just a whole new failure. And I kid you not, you try pushing ugly character into Japan, they are not gonna buy it. And so is the rest of the world at this point of time. But hey, this is just all my speculative thought, just a random chat. But at the end of the day, you, they have uh, those kind of people. We have to be very, very careful because at the end, if I don't say that line earlier, yeah, they can go and take down video where they say that, oh, the censorship part was mistranslated and miscellaneous taken out of contents. Yeah, they may do this to my video. So obviously I have to end it with that way. It's just a random chat, right guys? But who knows? I mean, like if you have your own view, your own take, your own agenda or whatever along the line, write in the comment below and we can discuss it further. But do then, if you do like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I sometimes say stop them. Doesn't make sense or make sense or totally random at time. But the one thing I can definitely make sure is I hope you guys have a nice day all night. Bye.